All right, I wanted to just record a quick video to show off this server that I'm gonna be using for training um, bots with RL Gym. Um, so I've got, I've got two of these guys. I've got, there's one down here on the floor. It's uh, obviously torn apart a little bit at the moment, but um, I'll just show off this one. They're, they're identical for the most part. Um, so it is an IBM 3950X5. Uh, it has four processors. Um, let me open this up here. Come on, you. Uh, yeah, so four processors. So each one of these is a heat sink. Um, and then these are the RAM cards here. So it's DDR3 ECC memory register ECC memory. So two of these cards pair up to e each processor. Um, and, and each of these cards has uh, four eight gig sticks like that. Um, it's actually kind of a cool system too. Like uh, when I first got it, there were some memory errors that I was troubleshooting and it's got this diagnostic system they call light path. Um, so I don't think this will show it right now. No, but there's this button here you can press, and if there was a bad stick or something wasn't seated properly, you can see there's these little LEDs next to each of the sticks. And if there's an error, what you'll see is that like this little light here will light up, and then when you pull the card, um, you can push this button, and then one of those LEDs will light up. It's got a little super capacitor on there to keep it powered, so you can you can spot the error, which is kind of cool. It just seats back down. Um, so it's 128 gigs of memory total. Sorry, I'll just do that. Um, let's see what else. I've dropped a 2080 Ti in there for now. Um, it's kind of funny, the power connector, you can't really see it too well, but um, it's it's a male-to-male -male, uh, power co cable that I had to like, uh, that I had to make up myself. You can see all those butt splice joins there. It was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. It's a 4U server. It weighs like 40 kgs, so around 100 pounds. Um, oh yeah, yeah, one other cool thing. So from the back here, you can see these big, huge cables, which if you're used to like desktop hardware, you've probably never seen anything like this before. Even if you're used to server hardware, you may have never seen something like this before. Um, they're called QPI cables. So what they've done is, it's really cool. Um, the front side bus, for each of these processors, like which is how they would communicate with each other. So like, let's say this processor needs a bit of information that's like over here in this processor's memory. Um, there's a bus on this board, but then uh, the channels of that bus actually break out to connectors in the back of the, of the case. And so the, they're designed so that you can take these cables Right now they're just configured for loopback, so it just makes it faster for each of the processors to talk to each other because they have more paths in the, in the mesh. Um, but you can actually take these cables and, and wire them up to a second server and then have one giant um, eight processor, 80 core, which is just crazy to say, um, uh, server. Uh, what else? This is not very fast. Uh, it's, I think it's 2.1 gigahertz base clock because this, this was built in 20, late 2011, early 2012. Um, but there's a, I'll probably swap out the processors that are in there um, for, oh, what are they, E78860s if I remember right, which have a base clock of like 2.3, but they boost to 2.6 if I remember right, which is, it's a bit faster. It's not... You know, it's not going to be earth shattering or anything, but the it's it's so old that the hardware is fairly cheap. Um, so yeah, these price wise, so these cost. And yeah, they had to get shipped via freight because they're so big and bulky. Oh yeah, one other kind of interesting thing, if you're not used to server hardware, they it comes with redundant power supplies. So there's there is a second power supply for this. I just don't have it plugged in because there's no real good reason to. It just uses extra power. Um, but the idea is like, if there's a power supply failure, if you wanted to have it set up on dual circuits, um, so like if a breaker blows or something like that, or, you know, maybe you might want to have one, one that's like on a diesel generator, I don't know, whatever. Um, 
you can you can have you know redundant power and basically suffer a power failure without um, an actual outage to whatever it is you're running on the on the hardware. So yeah, this is going to be training some Rocket League bots, I think, um, with my current testing. So the, the problem is that I'm limited by VRAM right now. So I'll probably swap this out for a Tesla um, M40, which comes with 24 gigs of VRAM. I don't really need a fast GPU for this because uh, this is just going to be a worker box. It's not going to be doing any actual um, backpropagation kind of learning stuff. Uh, it's just it's just me running the game. So um, I can use an old slow Maxwell card with a ton of VRAM. Um, and it's got, maybe I'll power it on for a second. These, it's got these fans here, which are designed, there's a high static pressure fans. Um, like this is not the right type of GPU for this because it, this, these fans are specifically designed for server graphics cards, um, which don't have their own forced air cooling. So you can see here, like this is your typical consumer GPU. It's got forced air cooling. Um, instead with a server graphic card, they blow straight through. Um, so the fins of the heat sink are aligned 90 degrees, um, you know, so, so rotate that 90 degrees. And then the static pressure carries the air through those fins um, and there's no fans. So uh, this thing sounds like a Formula One race car when, you, when it powers on. Um, and it's really annoying because you see this, see this guy right here. The system will power down if this fan is removed for more than 30 seconds. So I don't even need this fan right now. And if I, if I run it with this fan, it's super loud. But if I take the fan out, it's quiet. It's like like reasonably quiet. Like easily could just sit here all day with it in the room and it wouldn't bother me. Um, but then I can't take that out because if I do, it just won't run it. Um, so, you know, server, server, server fun times, but you know what, I'll, I'll live with that. I'm just, it's gonna end up living out in a, in a shed. Um, this guy here is just the storage controller. Um, I'll probably swap that out cause it's a raid card and I really just need an HBA, but yeah, that's not, you know, storage isn't much of a concern for this because it's not really doing much much work storage-wise. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I figured um, I've been rambling about this stuff on Discord for long enough. I would just post a video and uh, show it off a bit. So, yeah. Cheers.